Good morning, welcome to your Wednesday, March 7th, 10 a.m. weather briefing. Yesterday across the region, uh, we had temperatures uh, slightly below normal, with temperatures in the uh, lower lower 40s to around 50 degrees. 50 degrees was the warmest temperature at Salisbury and Norfolk here at Waltz. We only got up to a high of 45 degrees, and only for this time of year, around 52, 53 degrees. Overnight last night, Baltimore was the coolest at 32 degrees here at Waltz. We got down to a low of 41 and all stations reporting rainfall since uh, late yesterday afternoon and into the evening and overnight hours and through this morning. Waltz had the most rainfall to 7 a.m. this morning with 1.04 inches of rain. Uh, after that, we've actually only picked up about two hundredths of an inch of rain. So total for the storm thus far is 1.06. The rest of the region seen anywhere from uh, 0.31 inches to uh, just over three quarters of an inch. Currently across the area, we had cloudy uh, cloudy skies with some stations reporting some light rainfall. As of 9 a.m. this morning here at Wallops, we were 47 degrees under cloudy skies. Our upper air sounding from this morning showing initially wind at the 20, at initially wind at the 1,000 foot level at 22 knots, and then having a slight drop off at the 3,000 and 6,000 foot levels, and then shifting more southwesterly and increasing as we go through the column where we have our wind max at the 25,000 foot level out of the southwest at 110 knots. The freezing level this morning was at 6,500 feet. Surface analysis from this morning showing an area of low pressure beginning to intensify off the uh, Wallops coastline. This area of low pressure will uh, continue to strengthen and move off to the northeast. We'll be providing us with uh, cloudy conditions, also some light rain over the local area through this morning and then during the afternoon we'll have that rainfall pretty much taper off by the noontime hour and then clouds generally staying overcast we may see some peaks of blue sky later in the afternoon but overall it'll be an uh, overcast and uh, dreary day today winds will also be increasing out of the northwest as this low intensifies we are expecting to be wind be in wind advisory criteria by about 12 p.m this afternoon and especially after that, um, as those winds look to be above, are uh, gusting above 30 miles per hour as we head into this afternoon. So looking at the current uh, IR satellite imagery, I do have the uh, area of low pressure currently uh, circulating off the uh, Wallops coastline and it is intensifying as we're starting to see more of a defined comma head developing with this system. And it'll, again, it'll continue to push off to the northeast. And for here, while it'll be fairly warm and we'll only be seeing some light precipitation areas off to our north and uh, farther east into the areas of New York and New England should start to see some heavier snowfall begin to develop over their area where some areas could potentially see a foot of snow but right now it's um, a little bit uh, in discrepancy right now in terms of the the track is a little bit farther eastward than what the uh, models were projecting yesterday so those snowfall amounts may be uh, tapered down a bit in those areas. So looking at our midday or p.m. planner for this evening, that rainfall will be tapering off again later this morning, and we should have fairly dry conditions as we go into the afternoon, but we will be um, remaining overcast to uh, mostly cloudy. Could see just a few peaks later this afternoon of blue sky, but overall overcast with uh, breezy northwesterly winds, mainly gusting between 30 to 35 miles per hour this afternoon. And as we head into this evening, we'll start to see our clouds uh, begin to uh, dissipate and eventually becoming mostly clear overnight. Winds will generally be uh, dying down as we head into the later portions of the of this evening and during the overnight hours. Still remaining up out of the northwest and we're expecting the overnight lows to drop down into the lower 30s, around 33 degrees for our overnight low tonight. As we head into tomorrow morning, we'll have a mostly clear to uh, clear skies. And as we head into the Thursday p.m. time frame, we'll have weak high pressure over the area with low pressure uh, well off to our northeast. Uh, we'll have some slightly breezy conditions, but overall uh, should remain below wind advisory criteria. We'll have temperatures rising into the mid 40s. For our day on Friday, high pressure still remains overhead. The area of low pressure will begin to continue to push off farther to the northeast should start to see our pressure gradient tighten a little bit with, uh, with the low still off to our northeast and the high pressure system building over the area. And we could see some wind advisory criteria being met for our day on Friday.
So looking at the uh, next couple hours here, uh, in terms of our hazards, we'll have likely scenario for rain and also ceiling below 500 feet. Right now we do have an overcast layer about the 400 foot level with two and a half statue mile visibility and also some light rain being reported. Should expect to see that rain pretty much taper off closer to the noontime hour. Ceilings will also begin to rise, expecting ceilings to really be around 1,000 feet uh, throughout a good portion of this afternoon and into the early portions of this evening. Winds will also be increasing northwesterly, uh, 13, 18 knots sustained after 12 p.m., gusting to 28 knots is the max. Uh, max wind gusts we are expecting uh, for today, but overall fairly breezy uh, for this afternoon. High temperatures are generally going to be in the mid 40s, expecting 47 degrees for our afternoon high, and that'll mainly be around 12 p.m. As this low begins to intensify and colder air will be affected over the region, allowing our temperatures to really drop off into the mid to lower 40s. Clouds will begin to dissipate uh, later this afternoon, or especially later this evening. We do have a very slight chance that we could see a passing light shower uh, between uh, 7 and 9 p.m. with some upper level energy moving through the area. It doesn't seem very likely, but can't completely rule it out. But overall, we should start to see clouds begin to dissipate, becoming mostly clear overnight. Winds also decreasing out of a west northwesterly direction at about 6 to 11 knots, and we'll get down to a low of 33 degrees overnight. And then by tomorrow morning, right around 8 a.m., we should start to see our winds begin to pick up out of the northwest at 9 to 14 knots. For our day on Thursday, we'll have mostly sunny skies and slightly breezy conditions with increasing cloudiness during the evening. We'll get up to a high of 46 degrees. Thursday night, mostly cloudy and seasonable with a low of 33 degrees. And then for our day on Friday, we'll be partly cloudy and breezy with a high of 48 degrees. Do have a fairly decent shot of uh, issuing a wind advisory uh, during the day on Friday with the increase uh, with the tightening pressure gradient over the region with high pressure overhead and uh, the low pressure system well off to our northeast. Looking at the next seven days we'll have temperatures fairly uniform in the mid to upper 40s overnight lows in the lower 30s and then as we head into the later portion of this weekend the forecast uh, uh, still remains highly uncertain as model trends continue to still be all over the place with an area of low pressure that will be moving out of the southeast in the United States and into our area. Could see the chance for rainfall developing for our day on Sunday with a high of 42 degrees. And then as this low begins to depart, could have some colder air being infected back into the region, potentially seeing a rain-snow mix, but possibly even seeing an all-snow event uh, on the back side of this on Monday. But again, model uh, model trends are pretty much all over the place with this system right now, so it's hard to really nail down a final solution. But we'll continue to monitor this and provide updates uh, as we get them uh, for the storm uh, later this weekend into early next week. Then on Tuesday, we'll have high pressure building back into the area, and we'll have uh, partly cloudy skies with a temperature of 44 degrees. Well, that concludes the 10 a.m. weather briefing for today. We'll be back with you tomorrow morning at 8.15 for your daily operations weather briefing. Have a great day.